And then we also are going to have behavioral dysregulation. So that's where we have kids and adults who act out, quote unquote, who are oppositional, defiant, conduct problems, attentional problems. But fundamentally what they're doing is they are simply finding the best way possible to survive. And because the most primitive parts of their brain don't recognize time, as Dr. Perry said, they don't really know that this isn't 12 months ago, 12 years ago, that this isn't an abusive situation. So the, their behavior is really that of the resilient survivor. It's not that of the impaired or defective individual that they're so often seen as. And fundamentally, that leads to dysregulation of the sense of self. And that's the most complicated area, but I think that really is the, the combination of you don't know who you are, not only if you're dissociating, but you don't know who you are if you don't know how your body works or why your body does these things that you don't understand and takes you places you don't want to go, shuts down when you need it to mobilize, gets hypermobilized when you need it to relax and be calm and assertive like Cesar Milan talks about, who I think is a brilliant therapist, by the way. Uh, I, I model a lot after what he says. I try to be as calm and assertive as possible. Ask Judy. <laughs> okay, so you have a self where the individual doesn't know who they are because they don't know how to regulate. And they are regulating. It's just that they're regulating to constantly survive. Okay? And when that happens, of course, you're going to have fundamental dysregulation of emotions. You're going to have all kinds of problems with trust, intimacy, friendship, cooperation, just ordinary partnering, lack of synchrony that, of course, can start from the earliest uh, interactions with caregivers, but can proceed all the way into the kinds of tormenting relationships that Dr. Schwartz is going to talk about next. And I think that, and, and by the way, we also have to include post-traumatic stress symptoms. They're not unimportant, they, but they're just a part of this picture. They're just actually a small part, even though they relate to every other element of self-dysregulation.